And honored with the Academy's prestigious Governor's Award for Lifetime Achievement, Pittsburgh's own Eleanor Shano. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for believing that I was deserving of this distinguished honor. Thank you. God bless you all. As you just saw, Eleanor Shana was proud to be recognized by the National Academy of Television, Arts and Sciences, and she got that Emmy for good reason. Let's take a look back at a remarkable career. Hi everyone, I'm Eleanor Shana. It's a name Pittsburgh has heard for more than five decades. I uh, was born here, I have lived here my whole life, and yet studies show Americans get... And Eleanor Shano is one of the few people still on Pittsburgh television who actually remembers when it first came to town. Everybody went out to the, to the hardware store and we were watching test patterns, but it was something on a screen. You could feel that, that this was something that was really going to be big. Little did Eleanor know of the big role she would eventually play, but first she paid her dues and then some. Eleanor's TV debut came in 1951 as a model in commercials on WDTV, which later became KDKA. Commercials led to doing the weather. At one point, she had to wear a negligee while giving the bedtime forecast. Then came Gateway to Glamour. A lovelier face, a more attractive figure, an insight to fashion. All are yours for the asking, as is... I literally ad-libbed a 15-minute show. Very few women have perfect legs. Most women complain that their legs are too heavy, that they're too thin. The show was sold for syndication and seen in more than 250 television markets. Then in 1959, Eleanor left KDK for a new station in town, WTAE. She still remembers the job interview. They said, you know, we're really hesitating because women are not dependable. And furthermore, they're sometimes not as responsible as men and they get pregnant. But Eleanor's career took off at WTAE, where she became the first female general assignment reporter in Pittsburgh. Her first assignments, features. Her personal goal, hard news. Showing the all-male newsroom, she could cover it just like they could. You had to come back with a better story than anybody else. If they were doing two stories, you had to do three. And that was that way for many, many years. Eleanor proved herself not only in the field, but later behind the anchor desk at WIIC, now WPXI. There she became the first solo female anchor in Pittsburgh. Her career continued through the years, back at KDKA again as an anchor and reporter, the host of Good Day Pittsburgh on WPGH, host and reporter at KQV Radio. In the 90s, she started a long run at WQED-TV, hosting a show called AgeWise. It really reminded seniors about their relevance in our community, and it encouraged them to embrace growing older. As Eleanor has said, it's tough to grow up in front of a TV camera, but it's even tougher to grow old in front of it. We talk sometimes about the battle now that occurs for women who are over 45, over 50 in the business. It's not that I'm that much younger than she is, that I don't hear what she's saying and didn't experience some of what she did, but, but she truly was a pioneer, truly. And I guess what I'm measuring my life by are the women that have followed me. What she did was important to her, but more importantly, was important to us. In 2006, Eleanor branched out again, writing an autobiography called Riding the Airwaves. The book recalled more than 50 years in front of the camera. I can't believe this. But that life story didn't mark the end of her career, only another page. Up now, live well, live long with Eleanor Shano. Presented in by 2008, she launched Live Well, Live Long with Eleanor Shano on WTAE TV, serving as host and executive producer. Okay, here's the trout. What do I do when I get it? It wasn't home? just a job, it's a passion. And that's the way she really deals with everything in life. And here was the genie everyone dreamed of. Well, actually, her name, Eleanor Shano. 
Eleanor Shano, a woman whose career helped to shape Pittsburgh broadcasting, paving the way for women while humbly changing history. My whole career was kind of serendipitous. I'm terribly blessed to have been in this broadcast industry for so long. And don't ever ask me if I'm going to retire. Congratulations, Eleanor, for that well-deserved Emmy and your contributions to Pittsburgh Television.